A very good morning to all my friends from across the globe. Welcome back to the channel, The Drunken Dabbler. Here it is, Charan again with you, uh, with another poem of mine today, Live in the Now. Live in the Now is all about enjoying the present moment right now without worrying about what happened in the past or what's going to happen in the future. It's all about having that Zen-like meditative calmness. Just breathing in, breathing out, enjoy the present moment completely. Just enjoy the nature around you, the sounds and the, the brightness and everything. About a couple of years back, I was on a trip to Vietnam. We were about a group of 10 to 15 international tourists and we were uh, traveling to this island called Halong Bay. Halong Bay is a spectacular place. It's called the Land of the Descending Dragons. And it has these uh, thousand or even two thousand small limestone casts spread across the sea, in the middle of the sea. Spectacular place. So on the way from the mainland to the island, uh, our tour guide suggested something preposterous. He asked all of us to come on top of the deck of the boat and then asked us to jump in the middle of the sea. I was shocked. I would have never done that if I had planned for it earlier. But in the spur of the moment, all of us, on the count of three, just went for it and jumped into the sea. And that was one of the most memorable and enjoyable experiences of my life and which happened on the spot of the moment without any thinking because I was living in that moment. There is another point I want to drive home is you have to live in the moment but at the same time it doesn't mean you don't have to act. You need to act. You need to keep doing what you do best. When I was a kid, I remember I went, I, I went out in the garden and the street I used to find this uh, line of small ants trotting along vigorously, carrying food from nowhere to, I don't know, nowhere. Being curious, I used to go and, you know, strike a line and then disturb their movement. But after like a couple of minutes, uh, they ran helter-skelter, but again gathered and started along in their path. I did this for maybe four or five times. After that, I got bored. But the ants kept going at it, vigorously not giving up. So the second point is to keep doing what you do best, no matter what, in the present moment. Now, uh, let's uh, take a step back and then talk about the past. So you can view the past as full of your mistakes, your regrets. But... A change in perspective, the past can also be your best teacher in life. If only you know, you analyze and realize all the mistakes you have done in the past, all the missed opportunities, and you make sure that in this moment, you do not repeat them again, and make sure you take those opportunities which you missed, then you, your life can be or will be better. So the past is the wisest teacher of all. What about the future? Okay, future, oh my God. Is the master illusionist. Interesting fact. Humans are the only species on earth who can imagine, who can imagine themselves doing something in the future. This is humankind's biggest gift as well as the biggest curse. It's a gift because we can imagine ourselves going to the moon and at the same time, we can imagine ourselves drowning in a sea of misery or even getting ourselves destroyed in a nuclear holocaust. So when you plan too much about the future, it sets your expectations high. It pushes you up the cliff of expectations, all set to, for you to jump into the abyss of despair if things didn't go as you planned. 
So should you worry about the future? If you ask me, my answer is just don't give a damn. It's ironical because our whole uh, economy and our life is based upon predicting the future, right? The demand, supply, our uh, GDP, and your business, business plan, it's all based on uh, some number that you're going to achieve in the future, which may or may not happen at all, but you are toiling hard in the present moment for that imaginary number. So you have while you do your what you do best in the present it's best to just think about the present moment and not worry too much about the future so on that note i remember a famous quote of buddha one of my biggest inspiration gautam buddha he says the man who lives in the past is full of regrets the man who lives in the future is full of worries the man who lives in the present moment is the happiest man so my dear friends just live in the present moment enjoy the nature and the surroundings around you and enjoy breathe in the present moment and stay happy ciao until next time